Hello everybody, I think I'm ready to get started. Welcome Remote Battery. Do a little bit of change of pace for the music we listen to on the stream. We have some sad updates to go over. <laughs> Didn't really want to put an action theme over this. I think we can officially pour one out. I think Yellow Boss Lost Soul Blade is dead. <laughs> it died August 12th, according to the notes. Rest in peace, Lost Soul Blade, Yellow Boss. I will never run you again. We'll talk a little bit about the patch notes before we begin, and then we'll, uh, I guess, leave this little portion of it separate for people that were curious. So there are some changes just to warn you that some of the unit text there is custom, and they fixed some of the um, collision controls with the camera. It's very interesting to denote that they're opening up the Omnis spawn for the future, because I do think that is a way to make more interesting quests and longevity of the server. For those that are interested, they have the custom items. Yeah. For me, personally, it doesn't infect me that much. The one thing I really want to talk about, other than the, apparently they're going to add new platings, is these set of changes here. Yellow Vaz, now RN takes over. Kind of. I don't even know if I do RN Lost Soul Blade. It's not bad, but... So... I feel kind of neutral about this. Like, we'll go line by line, right? Caves is kind of notorious for being something that people don't really run outside of uh, getting baited by uh, Cycle 1 runs. Like, y you will run it for Shuren, and that is probably literally it. I, I can't really name any other rare in there that you would actively hunt for in any kind of endgame environment. Like, sure, it has some decent starting rares, but you're not going to be grinding that for, like, hundreds of hours outside of, as I said before, getting baited by Cycle Wand. So seeing that they are replacing Shuren with V101 is kind of interesting, but it comes at a cost. And uh, I think the general theme of this is that they're looking to lower uh, towards the future specifically. So they removed the V101 access from Sinnoh Blue, which is pretty common just to do those extra fights in Viridian and Green. Both of them now have V101 removed, I have to say, I'm not really a fan, definitely, of either of the items that I've been replaced with. Uh, with V101, or Sinnoh Blue in those scenarios. So just strictly a, a big downgrade to those IDs. So, mm, Arguable whether or not that needed to happen in this patch, I guess, to be seen. I know a thing that has been uh, a big concern is, like, uh, server health. So I do think that it is a server perception, whether that is true or not, honestly, I think is still debatable, of uh, whether certain quests are overpowered and whether they should get nerfed or if other IDs should get buffed or some combination thereof. And it looks like they have mostly gone to nerf mines, which to be honest, I'm not a big fan of mines on ultimate. I think it's very easy on lower difficulties, but on ultimate specifically, kind of kind of done doing those solo runs to be honest with you chat the brands kind of ruined that for me so i am a little sad to see ttf get nerfed i was having this conversation in the discord specifically i don't know how many people would run ttf if it didn't have red rings specifically so i don't think this run will ever go away it's not even the best xp you could get per second although it is very good don't get me wrong so we'll see where it goes there the one where I really have to think about this, and we're going to see this in practice later tonight on the stream, they have removed Dorfon Lame to Argent and Dorfon Eclair Blue Adoshi Violet Nibidao. So I'm going to be honest with you, you could pour another one out, Yellow Boss, we haven't even gotten to you yet. Already got already got nerfed with Lost Soul Blade. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty much never going to play Crater ever again in Skyly, so uh, remember all those cookie runs we used to do? They're dead. Uh, they are dead and buried. We will never do those ever again on stream. Easy sex speed to get with complete randoms. Yeah, I mean, like, the boss rush is, like, good for XP, don't get me wrong, but it's, like, outside of that... Like, to be honest, like, the, bi the big appeal is, like, the red ring. Or, like, it is, like, the parasitic gene flow. That's why people run it, because they need it per character. So, for me, neutral. Not super happy, because now you have to specifically farm for those outside of that. And, and again, it's debatable whether that was needed for the health of the, the server. I will say, though, I am really not a fan of the Skyly changes. Like, I can live with TTF getting nerfed, whatever. 
in the long run. I'm really not happy that I basically have to hard rethink some of my character choices since I don't like fighting Goron detonators for certain classes in solo play versus multiplayer. It's a very different set of equipment I have for Dwarfons versus Goron detonators. So I will definitely be rethinking things and whether or not I want to swap IDs, which is a reminder, they are letting you do slash modsec IDs. So if you did mess something up uh, prior to today and you'd like to fix the ID, you would get a free pass. Go and use it, be free. Um, some neutral changes. I already think blue is one of the best very hard mode IDs. Did blue ID really need to get more? <laughs> <laughs> like, Chaco, we have an honest question. Like, wasn't Blue ID already winning really hard? Like, really, really hard? It's like the ID that you play in very hard mode. I, I don't even feel like naming anything else that you would bother with in very hard mode. The fact that it has more hunts in very hard mode to me is very silly. So, I guess if you've been making Phonumens for episode 4, uh, you can now just get free heart of items that are pretty easy to farm because forces completely decimate every single part of uh, episode one and four in solo play as well as still doing decent in multiplayer before the resistances get too high um i do like this change though i think something that had come up in the section id comparison is just like how far behind redria is compared to every other id that gets frozen shooter so literally outside of Viridian, which I believe gets it in episode two offhand instead of episode one, Redria was pretty far behind in terms of total value. Like, yes, frozen shooters can go for like one to five, but like if it rolls even somewhat decently, it is it eclipses the, the red ID run by a long shot. So replacing a pretty useless item, in my opinion, of Godmind for Heart of Twin Chakram, at least maybe they will get some love when you're going for Magical Stone or Tista runs, or Arista, I think it's called. <laughs> we got a nerf TTF, but also we got a buff blue and very hard. Yeah, I don't really understand this philosophy. I mean, I guess it's to make the Phonumen better <laughs> in more places, question mark. Uh, okay. Um, the other one where I feel like an ID definitely needed some love, and I'm glad they also kind of agreed with it. They got rid of some of the disappointing orange ID ones in Ultimate specifically. Uh, Melkweek being the enemy in caves, HP revival, just legit useless. It, it, it might as well not even exist. This is trash rare. So making this a heart item, I literally have zero complaints with that. And turning Morning, Morning Glory, which is like ultra situational, at, like at best if we're being very generous with it, into a heart of item is probably better. Yeah, clear deal item, something like that. Then we get to Yellow Boss, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't like the changes. I was going back and forth whether or not I thought, you know, I think for server health, I think that I would agree that it would make more sense to put Lame to Argent on Sinnoh Red. I'm not gonna argue that point. I think they've always wanted to nerf Lost Soul Blade. They hate that quest. They're tired of feeling like they were forced to run it, and they gutted Anguish, and they gutted other drops across multiple patches. So I'm really not surprised to see this change. In fact, this was one of the one of like the four changes on this list that I was like, okay, I know it's coming up at some point, but when? So this zero surprises me. I'm a little disappointed that we get Mazer Beam as a replacement in Sinnoh Blue. Like, I, like are, are people tripping in the trade columns? Like I was looking at what it was going for. And I'm like, are people really spending like 15 to 20 PDs on an item where hit percentage doesn't matter? I was going to say, community, you're crazy. <laughs> and I could open it up. You can look at the price guide right now. Somebody, allegedly somebody put 50 something PDs on a uh, Mazer Beam with hit. Welcome, Hellcleave. I guess it's flex value. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm not really excited to hunt this because this is not a, this is a raw cast item which yes i'm probably likely to have a raw cast but i actually really don't like that we lose s red arms this was kind of like the perfect cast id where i could play anything into it whether it's you cast or raw cast and i feel like from a self-found perspective i actually like the synergy between these whereas i just really don't like mazer beam but welcome hell cleave so not not a fan that i potentially have to split up an s red arms hunt on what should have been like a sure lock-in for cast as yellow boss so not not happy with that <clears throat> for those that are curious 
even though the the rare rate for lame to argent is better um on Sinnoh red compared to Sinnoh blue uh we <laughs> we approximated that even if even if you are generous and say that this is twice as common now there are still more than three times less the number of Sinnohs in lost soul blades so i think if you're looking to run those quests I believe offhand it was sweep up operation number nine does it but you're going to be focusing on any rbr that has a high sino count which is not honestly even high i think even in that quest it's only 18. so not great i don't i'm not a fan of certain things being locked behind rbr where it's like i just have to pray to the roulette that you know the, the, the rare item and also or potentially drop rate line up with rbr not a not a fan of that so losing a more consistent lame to argent is like uh i mean i guess you kind of got one back in skyly i guess on a success started playing on the second got a sky green and pink and oof at least mod sec idea is there yeah the final change where i feel it's also kind of neutral towards i think if you're looking at purely trade value i think this is good dalam darl stink frame upgrading into a heart of item will generally go more than what a sync frame will give. I think it's kind of unfortunate because that was one of the decent rares <laughs> that Yellow had, where I don't feel like that was like, it wasn't like overpowering. Like it's not gonna be, it's not gonna sell like a V101. It's not gonna sell like a V502, but you'd still get like decent value if it high rolled. So losing a high roll item for a heart item feels kind of terrible to be honest. And unfortunately that did remove one of the ways I did get easy stink frames while farming stuff. Yeah. So, like, it definitely favors people that don't need it, for sure. So I feel like we're moving more into, like, if you're a self-found player, you will not like it. If you're looking for trade value, I would say definitely it went up. It's the only good one of the... Yeah, exactly. It's like, I, I guess... I guess. I'll live with it. I'm not super happy with the changes overall. I will miss Lost Soul Blade to some extent. Like, I, I agree that this should have happened. I don't know if this should have happened. But whatever. It is what it is. So yeah, I just wanted to have a quick little update here before we switch into the main thing for people that were curious. And uh, yeah, that's all I want to talk about with these updates here. So I guess we'll meet again in another part.